So our book is on community-engaged research um, to study health and resilience. The book really is a collection of the research projects and stories of people who are elevating research in communities and working with communities to elevate research. The book features different stories from both um, researchers as well as community-based researchers um, talking about how their work has both um, promoted personal resilience as well as community resilience, both challenging the construct of resilience and also talking through strategies for working with communities to research resilience to promote health. Using community-engaged research strategies really helps make sure that the research is accurate um, translational and really meets the needs that the community has rather than just what the researchers perceive to be the need. The barriers that people face in uh, marginalized communities, disadvantaged communities, economically depressed uh, areas is really distinct from those that middle class and upper class folks face. And the um, services are often hidden behind uh, bureaucracies and uh, service uh, barriers. We, we can do better and we can do better by involving community members in helping understand and navigate that difficult terrain. The ideas and the principles sound really exciting and aligned with social work values, but the actual how-to can feel a little overwhelming to students. So um, one uh, chapter from Chapman and Wright that comes to mind is a really interesting application of using mindfulness practices um, with youth of color in the DC area. And it really walks you through um, both the opportunities and challenges that um, people face in doing community engaged work. Any place where you're working with human beings and human beings can be smarter for the research you generate, you'll run into the problems around resilience that this, this book covers. One discovery that I made was that uh, a lot of scholars see themselves as members of communities, of course they are, but as kind of activists. And that's certainly the case in our field, Kelly, uh, Dr. Canada in my field um, in social work, and uh, I'm a former civil rights attorney myself, Kelly was a social worker trained in New York City. So we bring that to our work and we want our work to be actionable. We want it to be deployed in a way that help people. Working with people who are going to consume and use this research uh, is essential, but it, it, there's a tension there with the, the, the traditional research model. You know, we're not working in a lab. We don't wear white coats. Uh, we, we get our hands dirty in these communities, and that means being flexible with uh, changing circumstances. And you'll be smarter as you go along, and the research plan should reflect that.